Okay, so we're given a function f of x is equal to 2x minus 5, and the domain is minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1. The domain is just the x values of the function, or we call it the input values of the function, input values. We are asked to find the range. Now what is the range? Well, the range is just the y values of the function, and it can also be known as the output values of the function. Okay, so how do we get the output values? Well, we use the input values here, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and 1, and then whatever we answer we get for f of x, then that would be our output values. Okay, so let's look at the input value minus 2. So f of minus 2 is equal to 2, and then we're going to replace x as minus 2, minus 2 minus 5 is equal to 2 times minus 2, that's minus 4, minus 5, minus 4, minus 5, it's minus 9, so this here is the output value for the input value of minus 2. Now let's look at the other input value, f of minus 1, that's 2 times minus 1, minus 5, 2 times minus 1, that's minus 2, minus 5 is equal to minus 7, so the output value is minus 7. Let's look at when x is equal to 0, f of 0, that's 2 times 0 minus 5 is equal to, 2 times 0 is 0 minus 5, it's minus 5, and then when f is, when x is equal to 1, 2 times 1 minus 5, 2 minus 5, that's equal to minus 3. So these here are your output values or the range. So then the range is minus 9, minus 7, minus 5, and minus 3. Good. Now, the next question asks us to find the inverse of a function. And the inverse of f of x is written as this. How do we find this? Well, there are three steps to finding the inverse of a function. The first step is let y equal to the function. So the first step, let y equal to f of x. So then y is equal to 2x minus 5, because f of x is 2x minus 5. The second step is to interchange. So what this means is wherever we see y, we're going to put x, and wherever we see x, we're going to put y. So then for step 2, if we interchange, um, this will now be x is equal to 2y minus 5. And then now the third step, make y the subject of the formula. So the third step now is to make y the subject of the formula. We have x is equal to 2y minus 5. So if we want to make y the subject of the formula, we need to get rid of the minus 5. So if we get rid of the minus 5 on the right-hand side of the equation, and we bring it over to the left-hand side, it will become positive 5. So we have x plus 5 is equal to 2y. And then if we need to bring this 2 across to the other side of the equation, we need to divide by 2. So that's x plus 5 divided by 2 is equal to y. So therefore now, f inverse of x is equal to x plus 5 divided by 2. And this is your answer. Okay, now let's look at part 3. Part 3 asks us to sketch the graphs of f of x and f inverse x on the same axis. Okay, so there are a couple things that we need to know before we solve this problem or sketch the problem. Equation of a straight line is equal to y is equal to mx plus c where c is the y-intercept and m is the gradient, okay? And if you look on the left-hand side here, if we have a positive gradient, the slope will look like this, going upwards. If we have a negative gradient, the slope will go downwards. If we have zero gradient, then it will be parallel to the x-axis. And then if we have a vertical line, then the gradient is undefined. Okay, now let's see how we're going to solve this. So we know that m here, for f of x, the gradient is 2, so then the gradient would look like this, slope upwards, and then the y-intercept is minus 5. So to sketch this graph, we know that this function here, 
it passes through minus 5, this is the y-intercept, and the gradient is 2. So it would look something like something like this. Okay, this here is a positive gradient and it crosses the y-axis at minus 5. Now let's try to figure out what this value is here. Now we know one point for this, the y point would be when y is 0. So if I plug in y as 0, or f of x as 0, then this would be now 2x minus 5. And solving for x, x is equal to 5, 2x, or 5, 1, 2. So x is equal to 5, 1, 2. So here is 5, 1, 2. Okay, now f inverse of x, we found that to be x plus 5 over 2. And now this here, sorry, over 2. And this here is the same as x over 2 plus 5 over 2. Okay. Now m is a half. We can let me rewrite this over here. So f inverse of x is now equal to a half x plus 5 and 2, where m is equal to a half and c, the y intercept, is 5 and 2. So we know that if here now is 5, 1, 2, we know here is f of x. So then if we want to sketch this line, we know that the line passes through the y-intercept 5, 1, 2, and then m is a positive gradient, so it would look like this. So then we want to draw a graph or something like this, where here is f inverse x. Okay, let's figure out what this value is, where it cuts the x-axis. So where it cuts the x-axis, this point here would be when y is equal to 0. So if this is equal to 0, then a half x plus 5, 1, 2 is equal to 0. And then you solve for x here, you'd find that x is equal to minus 5. And this is how we sketch the graphs. Okay, find the gradient and find out the y-intercept and just draw it. And the last question, part four, comment on the relationship between the two graphs. Now the relationship is f of x is a reflection of f inverse x on the line y is equal to x. That's always the case. f of x is always a reflection of f inverse x of the line y is equal to x.